the news the last few weeks has been yeah. unbelievable. Right now, the information that I have is that there was 20 members from Congress out on the field. There was 15 of more staffers and also former staffers. And then we had Joe Branton, representative of Texas. His two sons were there. One was at, you know, 10 years old, and he was back out in the dugout. Mm -hmm. So there was quite a few that was there. So what does that add up to? Probably 35. 35 people. He wanted to kill Republicans. We're living in an unbelievable time. And this, this situation is something that Christians have got to say, we're going to cover this stuff. Yeah. And I believe only God saved. And that's what a lot of people say. It, mm -hmm. it was a miracle that all of these men, how many did you say finally with 25, 35? 35. 35 people mm -hmm. would be dead mm -hmm. right now. Now, let me just say this. When an alleged... <clears throat> woman who's not that funny right who's called a comedian that's right takes a head that that's looks like it. donald trump puts artificial blood and holds it up like she's isis that's right and the media justifies her doing it mm -hmm. yes. the secular media justifies her under the name of freedom of speech freedom of expression okay then a play in new york mm -hmm. it's supposed to be about oh. julius caesar Shut has up. them stabbing a person that looks like trump I'm going to reverse this for a moment, and this might upset some of you. What if that was President Obama's head? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. What if, I'm, I'm saying no. what if, That's what right. if that was a play about President Obama? I will guarantee you that woman would have been fired. The Secret Service would have investigated her as a hate crime. Oh, absolutely. I guarantee you the place in New York would be totally shut down by now. But you know what? When they hate a person, they will justify their hate through freedom of expression. Mm. And that's what we're doing. So how can we expect, let me ask you something, how can you expect, and this is the part that really frightens me more than anything. Everybody in this room knows that the news is biased. There's not a person here now. They used to hide it. Yes. They used to cover for it. They're not covering. They are yeah. what they are, and they're letting you know what they yeah. are. But here's what concerns me. When politicians take leadership, because in the Bible it says, pray for those who are over you in the Lord. Look, they're praying in Rome for Nero, who is killing them mm -hmm. and persecuting them and beheading them. And yet Nero's wife got converted to Jesus and started having Bible studies in the palace. Okay? Yes. Wow. Yeah. God bruised Satan under their feet, okay, through that. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing I want to say. Now, I want you to think about this for just a moment. When leaders who are elected call the president names, whoever the president is, mm -hmm. and they're negative and they're using profanity. How in the world can you expect school students to respect their teacher? Exactly. How, right. how can you expect, right. how can you expect children to honor their parents? Right. When the disrespect and dishonor is that high, it will come down. And so kids can say, I don't have to listen to the principal. I disagree with what he believes. I don't have to listen to mom and dad. I disagree with what they believe. That's right. And so I am not shocked <laughs> that this person would do this because of the climate that was created, yeah. putting approval on a fake head and stabbing Trump in a play. Mm -hmm. It doesn't surprise me. Now, here's the thing that really perturbs me. I'm watching the news, okay? I'm watching the news, and I'm thinking, this is a big event. This man could have killed, as you said, 35 people. Fox News was reporting it, interviewing the senators, what happened. Every other media, not one of them was reporting it. They were still jumping on. Now, they're going to charge Trump with this, and they're going yeah. to get him out of office. And, now, I want to ask, and do, you know, do you know why? Because they don't want to be embarrassed that that man was, pardon me, a pro-democratic, anti-republican killer. That's exactly what that's the only, No, that's, really, that's the only reason why yeah. they don't want to report it. Right. Because it makes them look bad. You are the guys that stir up the hate. So you should be responsible for stirring up a man like this. Mm -hmm. And, that's, and, and if, it were, if the shoe were on the other foot and those men had not been Republican, mm -hmm. I will guarantee you they would have blamed the president for it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And that's where, that's where people are going to have to have a discernment of the Spirit of God. You're yes. going to have to have discernment. You're going to have to learn to discern people and just things of this nature and understand what's, what's happening.